All right, so I was asked to uh, do a finishing video of how I finish my turkey calls. I don't do anything special, but spar urethane. This is a water base. I also use oil. I also use polyacrylic. I've used this pretty much since day one. <clears throat> it works very well. It, uh, it'll help waterproof a call way better, I think, than just about anything else. But any finish is really good. You can do a super glue finish. Um, there's a bunch of YouTube videos on pen turning that you can check out on how they do a CA finish or a super glue finish. And I also use this, True Oil. This is gun stock oil. Um, this is what you see when you see a shotgun with a an actual wooden forearm and but this is what they actually use on that and i think there's something else that they use too but i do believe this is like most common so i don't do anything special i just take a rag i buy a big rag at home depot Lowe's, or i don't know i think a 20 pound bag costs like 12 bucks or 15 bucks <coughs> um I'm going to flip the camera around, or my phone around, and show you. I just got done turning a white oak pot. It's still on my lathe. It's got beautiful grain. Beautiful, beautiful. Now what I do is I just dip my rag, just like so, get it on there. And I just rub it on. Cover the whole surface. Soak it down. I'm not a professional woodworker, so this is probably wrong. <laughs> but I don't care. It works. Finish on my calls look really, really good after I get done with them. So after I soak this down pretty good as you can see it there's a drip i'll wipe that off here in a second I'm trying to do this holding holding it in my hand too and got my tripod with me don't mind my messy uh garage but i'll let that soak in for a little bit it'll dry and what will happen is it's called a raise um, the, the grain will raise up a little bit, be like little hairs. What you could do is get like 400 grit sandpaper after this one coat dries. <clears throat> and go over top of it, it'll knock that, ri that rise down, the hairy part. Uh, I would show you what I do to the inside of the call, but I don't want to give my dimensions away. Sorry, I apologize. But those are the trade secrets. Um, what I do for the inside and the holes. Here, I'll show you real fast on the holes. Just get you some Q-tips. Dip it in there. Put them in there just like so. Wipe off the excess. Now what I do on the inside is I'll take it off my lathe and I'll take a Q-tip and I'll, I'll dip it in there and I'll throw a bunch inside the pot and I'll just run this around until it gets fully coated. I don't really care for how it looks or anything like that because then I'll just go back over it with my rag and, and clean up all the excess. So I hope this helps you out. Sorry for the bad video. I ain't got my tripod on me. Uh, it's MIA. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but you can use just about any finish. But I like the spar stuff and this polyacrylic. Uh, the spar I've, I've used in the oil, uh, oil base. The one thing I don't like about that is if you use it on lighter woods like maple, which is almost like a white board, it will tarnish it to uh, an off-color white. So I would rather use this on like my curly maple I just got 
and and it will help uh, keep that beauty of that wood looking that good um, because this actually dries on clear. This is actually almost dry right now. It, it don't take long for this water-based stuff to dry. Um, 15 minutes, and then you can, like I said, it, it, it has a rise. So I'll hit it with some 400 grand save, save paper, and then I'll I'll do the process over again. I'll put three or four coats on the outside, put two coats on the inside. I don't really care about if it raises up or anything like that because after you glue it, um, I dry fit all my surfaces and stuff like that. So check for rocking. Um, if it rocks, I might hit it with some sandpaper to kind of keep it from rocking because that'll play with the sound. So that's the stuff that you kind of got to watch for. When I say hairs, stuff like this right here. I'll sand that out. That'll be gone when I when I get completely done with this call. So that's what I do. And then I'll show you. This is synthetic steel wool made by 3M. This is like four zeros. You can buy it off of Amazon. I think it comes in a pack of three for like $6.99. This stuff right here will buff that out to a like a glass shine. That's what I use. Alright. This this video is actually intended for Tanner. So there you go, buddy.